If you develop or test DC power supplies, then you probably need a load of some sort. An ideal load is one that you can vary over a wide range of currents and voltages. The old days saw rear stats put into this kind of service. Fixed power resistors or high power filament lamps were also useful. Today we have the electronic load, where MOSFETs apply the load and dissipate the resulting heat. This is a typical unit. It's got three channels. Each channel can handle up to 150 volts and 30 amps. Power is limited to 150 watts. The total box can do 450 watts for the three channels. You can parallel two or more channels to get higher current or higher power ability. It works like this. Attach your input to either the front or rear terminals and off you go. This model provides constant current, constant resistance or constant voltage. It's currently being used to test a small switch mode power supply that's got three outputs. You can get some idea of the interaction between the three DC outputs as I alter the load on the main 5 volt output. You can see that loading one output affects the other two. Now in a regulated supply this might surprise you. Remote control is easy. Here we're controlling this one from a PC with some visual basic script. Electronic loads are useful for testing batteries, particularly where you don't want to run the battery flat. The electronic load can be preset with a cutoff voltage where it will turn off and stop discharging the battery. This particular model is from the Kikasui PLZ range of electronic loads. The range covers single units to five modules in one portable package. High powers up to tens of kilowatts, high voltage up to 650 volts, and high speed responses in the low microseconds are all featured in this range. Visit us on the web at telonic.co.uk.